West to Halmin Freon and welcome to another video. Stories about inhabitants of Harad or Umbar or the regions in the east of Middle Earth would be as nonsensical as the upcoming The Rings of Power is. Now, do you know why? I shall explain shortly, but uh, first it needs to be said why this particular fact needs to be addressed, because of course. Uh, the Rings of Power is a, a, a very contemporary topic now. It's very in, it's very now. People are talking about it all over the place. Most people don't like the idea of the Rings of Power TV show. There are some shills who care about it. Not because they liked it, I don't think so, but just because of the simple fact that they are shills. They are influencers who were invited to Oxford for a day to see 20 minutes of rough footage from the upcoming TV show and they received a, a goodie bag and they were able to uh, ask the showrunners a couple of questions. Well, you hoorah! I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I wouldn't sell myself off for this. But there have been some um, comments under my video, some suggestions, because a lot of people are, of course, not satisfied with the fact that the cast of the TV show is going to be very diverse. Of course, I've covered that many times in my previous videos, uh, although I am one of those people who <laughs> uh, know that we live in 2022, and the, the story makers, I mean, the uh, filmmakers and the huge corporations and film studios are not focusing on storytelling first. They don't uh, care about stories. They don't care about honoring the law. They don't care about being faithful to the source material. No, they have quota. They need to push their agendas. This is the most important thing for them. They need to bow down to the gods of inclusion, representation and diversity. And that is why we can see Mr. Arondir there and Disa and Sir Lenny Henry as one of the Harfords. It's absolutely preposterous. I've made videos about that. Please feel free to check them out. But there have been um, uh, suggestions that go in this vein. If they wanted to make a story about a diverse cast in Arda or Middle-earth, they could make stories about people in Harad. Or if, if you want to see yourself in The Lord of the Rings, just, you know, why don't you make a story about people in Harad? Where, of course, uh, people of uh, swarthier look should, inhab should, should live, uh, according to what Tolkien wrote. And I say to myself, why the hell would I watch anything like that? Like, who cares? Who would actually care about a story about a random bloke or a random gal from bloody Harad? What would they write about? And that's another thing, that's another question. Let us suppose that somebody uh, decides to adapt, not uh, adapt. There, th this would be no adaptation because Tolkien never wrote anything about, uh, you know, any story, any specific story about uh, anybody from Harad, in Harad. So why would I care about that if it wasn't written by Tolkien? Why would I even connect such a story with Tolkien? Do you want a bloody diverse story, go and watch something else. Just just avoid talking. Just sort off. Go watch Game of Thrones. Go read A Song of Ice and Fire. Go read the, uh, the hundreds of other stories that have been written with diverse cast and bowing down to the gods of inclusion, representation and diversity if it is uh, the primary thing you care about. And one more thing, uh, this is the most important thing of all. If you only care about your representation, if you are so self-centered, if you are so bloody shallow that you only want to read a story or watch a story uh, to see yourself in it, th then don't read or watch anything at all. Go and look in into a mirror. Look at yourself in the mirror, pat yourself on the shoulder, that you look so good, that you are so proud of yourself because you look a, a certain way, because genetics and biology have uh, done it so that you look the way you do, because you bloody can't do anything about it, you were born that way, and don't read any fantasy at all. Well, on the other hand, if you want to uh, read stories, fantasy stories, science fiction stories, escapist stories, for the story, 
and for the pure act of escapism and for entertainment, then you shouldn't really care about what the characters look like and, and if they look like you. Only pathetic and self-centered people care m only about being represented in anything and especially in things where they shouldn't be or they are not simply am i cramming myself into a kanda no am i cramming myself into uh films by akira kurosawa um based in japan and there have been attempts um very very few because if if they were done nowadays it would be considered um what you might call it um well, it's bad. People wouldn't like it if they turned, you know, Wakandians into white people. Uh, these things here and there, it happened in the past. For example, when they uh, basically ripped off the Seven Samurai by Akira Kurosawa and they uh, made the, the Magnificent Seven, the Western film. Um, but still, I prefer the Seven Samurai over the Magnificent Seven every day. And it only proves that the original is always, always, always the best. So, the gist of this video is, why the hell would I want to know anything about a random bloke from Harad, if it wasn't written by Tolkien? Why would I even care? So, no, not even this would be acceptable. I am getting more and more militant as far as my uh, Tolkien purism goes. And, you know, this is who I am. This is what the European Law Channel is all about. Respect the law and sort off with rip-offs and prequels and sequels. And if you want to create, create your own stuff. If you are not creative, if the best you can do is take and steal something that was created by a much more... Um, talented man and a, and a cleverer man than you, well, then I don't think you should be a creator in the first place. All right, that will be all for now. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this take. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, my friends, and uh, Marie.